The Jockey of the Week is brought to you by Animal Element, the choice that matters. And on Sunday there at the Jersey Shore, we had a pretty important race for a million dollars. We're talking about the grade one Haskell, which some of the greats in the game have won. And Kurt, we didn't have any of the Triple Crown race winners in there, but still a very competitive field. And our Jockey of the Week was the jockey that got that score. It was Robbie Alvarado and Gervin. Perfectly timed ride by Robbie Alvarado as Gervin got up in the final few strides. A very good horse race, and he timed things just perfectly. That's why he is the Jockey of the Week. And Gervin... Not spelled like my favorite basketball mm. as a kid growing up. Not the Iceman. This is G-I-R-V-I-N. And, boy, you can't time things better than this, Caleb. And I think Robbie probably had a great game plan going in because in the Ohio Derby, this horse is up close to the lead. We know this is a speed-favoring track, but the inside three favorites, they cooked the pace, and Robbie sat back. Yeah, he waited, 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 and just gets up. Tough beat for the runner-up, but a very nice win for Gervin McCracken. He made the first move, looked the winner, and Gervin made the last move and got the candy under our Jockey of the Week, Robbie Alvarado. And one thing about Robbie Alvarado, the last week of the Keeneland meet, he broke his leg. I mean, yeah. so he missed, we're talking about six weeks with a real serious injury. He swept the stakes there at Churchill Downs on closing night and then picks up uh, one of the biggest wins of his career there in the Haskell. Yeah, really big win in the Haskell. I thought kind of a disappointing run from Irish War Cry. I think it really just points out how evenly matched this year's three-year-olds are. They're just kind of taking turns, and so far, to me, Caleb, nobody has stepped forward to take that number one ranking. Still a couple months left, and I think the Travers is a big part of that. So congratulations there to Robbie Alvarado with that win. At the Jersey Shore, the Jockey of the Week is brought to you by Animal Element. For more information on Animal Element, visit jockeytalk360.com.